Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I hope that you consider staying if you like the content. <laughs> so I decided to do comfort meals. Four of our favorite comfort meals. Comfort food, when I think of it, I think of stuff that you're not worried about this, you're not worried about that, you're not worried about making it super crazy healthy. It's stuff that you love that tastes good. It's a comfort food. If you're offended by lack of veggies, I apologize because this is a comfort food video and they're not here. <laughs> Does a tater count? If the tater counts, then yes, veggies are here. Who doesn't love a good comfort meal? So, over the past couple weeks, I didn't do this like all in like one day after another because, you know, the key is moderation, right? So, uh, over the past couple weeks, I have did our four favorite comfort foods. And let me just say that mac and cheese is in this. And this mac and cheese, shout out to my sister Emily. I'm not sure where she got the recipe from. Her mother-in-law, maybe? I love it. And over the past couple of years, it has become our favorite. This mac and cheese, it is so simple. It is, it is so crazy simple that it, you wouldn't think that it would be the best mac and cheese in the world, but it is. It's good. It's good. Try this mac and cheese. And I will say that I have found that the generic cheese that you're going to see works a lot better than the name brand. It makes it taste a lot better to us anyways. So super budget friendly. I'm going to shut my mouth and show you our four favorite comfort food dishes. Let's call this one cheeseburger melts. Sure, why not? So you're just going to need a pound of hamburger some buns, some milk, some butter, some cheddar cheese, and a couple of seasonings like garlic powder and onion powder and salt. I'm just going to chop up the burger. Scramble it, if you will. Just like that. We're going to drain it. Get all that grease out of there. Because you don't like a greasy sandwich, you know. I mean, you might, but I don't. Just going to add you some garlic powder and onion powder to taste whatever you like. And probably a fourth cup of milk. Now, throw you in five slices of cheddar cheese. Five slices. It's the magic number. You're going to stir it up, let it melt. And it's going to look kind of thin at first, but let it get thick like that. You're still going to want some of the juice because that juice soaks into those buns over there. And it is divine. So, you're just going to get a casserole dish and you're going to do what I'm doing. You're going to put the mixture on the buns, top it with cheese. Now, get you some melted butter. And put it on top of those buns. Just like that. And then you're going to put it in the oven and let it get all melty and delicious and good. I didn't realize how long it took me to butter these until just now. And this is me going fast. Good grief. But now we're going to put it in the oven. And they're done. Look at that. It actually took longer than what you just seen. It took about 5-10 minutes. Anyways, look at it. Just look at it. They're so tasty and all that juice from that milk and cheese is in that bun and it is fantastic. All right, Mr. Kai Kai got sunburned today a little, even though we put sunblock on, we did. Whoa, Nelly. Look at that cheese. Passed out, it's good. This is the mac and cheese I told you about. Get you 16 ounces of melting dip. You can get Velveeta, but I like the generic. Get you some pasta, any kind of pasta. I like the swirly pastas. A stick of butter. And a carton of half and half. The small one. I can't remember the ounces. The small one that's like $1.50 or something like that. Anyways, you're going to bowl up them noodles. Get them all soft. Drain them. Add Ooh. your stick of butter. A whole stick. Yes. Did I say this was a healthy video? I did not. <laughs> 
Oops. Put all of the half and half, all of the butter in there. Put the pasta back in and slowly start adding that cheese. Salt it to taste and put some good old pepper in it. Now you're going to stir it and melt the, I almost said Velveeta. It's not Velveeta. Uh, melt the cheese and then keep adding the cheese. Slowly let it melt and it's going to look kind of thin. Don't worry about it. You're just going to let it boil just a little bit. It'll get thicker. Take it off of the heat, and it'll just let it cool down for probably five minutes, and it'll be nice and thick. And look at it. Oh, my gosh. It is the best mac. It's so simple, guys, and it is the best mac and cheese in the world. Just look how pretty. Look at the cheese factor. Oh, my God. Oh, just look at it. I have realized that I'm obsessed with cheese, but it's good. All right, baby cakes. Blow it. Very. He passed out. When I tell y'all that this is the best mac and cheese in the world, I mean it. We already know what it tastes like. We're just doing it for y'all. Mm. That's so good. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but when I think comfort, I think Thanksgiving dinner. But, you know, I don't want to cook a giant Thanksgiving dinner. I just want a little taste of it. So this is what I'm going to do. I made this a few times, found it on Pinterest a couple years ago. Every time I get a hankering for Thanksgiving dinner, I do this. You are going to need a box of stuff and stove top. You're going to need some turkey gravy and some slices of deli turkey. Make the stuffing like you're supposed to on the back of the box. Lay it in those turkey slices. Roll it up. And you got Thanksgiving turkey rolls. Uh-huh. I put the rest of the leftover stuffing on top of it. And you're going to make the turkey gravy packet the way that it says on the back. Mm-hmm. Just like that. Simple, super easy. Cheaper than the canned turkey gravy. And you're going to pour it over. Just like that. Like, I don't even know what this is called. I seen it on Pinterest years ago. But it, it hits the spot. And it's pretty dang good. Look how pretty it is. It's so pretty. It's like Thanksgiving too. <laughs> What was my laugh just then? That's weird. Anyways, you're going to need hot dogs, chili, buns, cheddar cheese, and barbecue sauce for this. Tater wedges on the side, of course. Yep, I'm making hot dogs, but not just any regular hot dogs. We're doing baked hot dogs. I love doing it this way. All right, you're going to put your hot dogs. Mom, are a little frozen still. But you're going to put them in a casserole dish, and you are going to roll them in some oil. I use olive oil. That one broke. Oops, my bad. But you're just going to roll them in olive oil. Bake them for about 10 minutes on 350. Take them out. Put some barbecue sauce on it, however much you want. Swirl it around there. Make sure every one of them's covered. Then you're going to stick them back in the oven for 10 more minutes. Yep, you see what I just did? I topped it with the chili, the cheese. I put them back in the oven and made it all melty. Mm. That's good. That was it, guys. So, don't knock it till you try it. Those hot dogs made that way, I don't know what it is, but they're 10,000 times better. Just try it. Trust me. Some of you might already do it that way. Baked hot dogs hit different. Please, please, just try those cheeseburger melts. That's what I call them. My husband's late mother, she would make him something called scrambled cheeseburgers. And she would do that little mixture that I did. She would do that and they would eat it on loaf bread and it was like one of his favorite things. And I made it for a long time, but then I was like, I'm going to put my own spin on it. And I did that instead. And he loves it. He loves it. Sometimes I still make him the one like his mama so he can have some of his mama's food still. But he does love it. I go check out my Facebook group. It's Southern Frugal Mama on Facebook. I'll link it below. If you're not a member there, join. It's a group of people and we just like to talk. 
exchange tips and tricks and tell stories and we have a good time on there. And I have an Instagram too. I will link that down below and you can follow me on there. I, sometimes I forget I have it. I'm not used to Instagram. I've, I've not really did that much, but I'm trying to remember my son, Braden. He reminds me. <laughs> um, I'm a goat. Until next time. I'll see you later. Peace out. Remember, remember, always stay kind and positive, and please only surround yourself with things that bring you joy. Life is too short to be worried, frustrated, stressed. Let's enjoy this life that we're given. Love you guys. Bye.